Yeah. Right guys, it's Ryan K uh, back again. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to make a trans pad. A very easy one, super saw, maybe a little square wave on top as well. I've had quite a few people asking us uh, for a few different types of sound design tutorials. So uh, here's another pad one. I might do some another mid bass, looking at more particular types of mid bass. But today I'll quickly go through how to make a super saw trans pad with some extra little bits of modulation on. So first of all, simply get your um, synth of choice. So I'm just going to use Spire here. Because I know most people have Spire instead of Seum, so I'll do Spire more often. So what I do always to start off with, well, there's two ways you can do it, but I'll show you the one I do most commonly. Uh, is I'll set up the actual tone of the sound, so um, uh, get the different harmonics in. So add eight voices onto the first oscillator. Add increase the voices, global voices, up to the maximum of 16. Okay, so I then ensure that it's fully wide and then mess about with the detune and density to spread these voices around. So straight away you've got that big super saw sound. Add a little bit more bass to this, what I'm going to do anyway. So use the second oscillator, move on to the second oscillator tab, use less width because it's the bass, bassy sounds I prefer it a bit narrower. Just gonna use eight voices again, full density, drop the detune, drop the octave, <clears throat> and then mix it in until it's the right level that you like. Right, I've got my bass in. Uh, let us hear it on its own quickly. Bit too detune. Okay, cool. drop the voices a bit. Top to you. So I'm gonna add an octave up this time just to get a bit more brightness. So just gonna use a saw again. Let's just say eight voices or seven, up to you. Fully wide, mix it in. Okay, that'll do. Just to change it up a bit, I'll use, let's say, a square wave or whatever. So on my last one, I'm going to just keep it like this. And I'm going to add a square wave. Okay, this is pretty much, you know, this is kind of like the pulse width modulation. It's not quite pulse width because it doesn't close off the, uh, the shape, but you, you get where I'm coming from. <laughs> We've got the raw sound there, very simple raw sound. Uh, now we're going to use the envelopes to change the sound into a pad. Pad strings normally have a long attack and a long release. That's what makes it sound like that epic, um, long note sounding pad. So increase the attack. <clears throat> so it takes a little bit longer for the sound to come in. Increase the release. So if you don't increase the release, it, it'll make this weird sound because obviously it'll just re-trigger back to the start. So you need to make sure you have the release longer so it doesn't go straight back. The, the note at the end is still played for a little bit longer when you let go of the key. So now we've got the overall sculpt of the sound done, we've got the you know the, the tonal quality is what I'm after. Uh, let's shape it a bit more and take a bit more of the top end off. Go. Make sure you take off the modulation, you don't want this modulated yet. So already you've got that lush sounding pad and um, I've added a bit of resonance, okay, just uh, so at the top end of the cutoff it has a little bit of extra frequency there. <clears throat> if you want you can modulate it so I'd add the filter cutoff one so a little bit more of the sustain comes in for a bit longer. I like using the XCOM just to glue it together a little bit more so um, it kind of compresses it. Mm -hmm. 
So, like I say, now we've got the actual sound after add the finishing touches, so some EQ. I feel like it's a bit too much low mids here, so I'm just going to cut some low mids out. Okay, why not add some chorus just to make it a bit more thicker? I I like to use the wet from full wet just to see what the chorus will sound like first of all. Add some reverb. Uh, my tip is for ensure that the colour is high, so it's more the higher frequencies than the lower frequencies on the reverb. Again, just have the wet, just to see what it fully sounds like. So if there's any other extra, so that's all just in the box. Um, again, you could then further do some processing. A nice tip I like to use is um, parallel pro um, compression. So my choice is Pro Q2. Uh, I put it on the clean setting. Now, then I compress the utter hell out of it. Take the auto gain off uh, uh, with the harsh setting, so classic's quite harsh on this. Now this, I want uh, no dry signal at all on this, so this is just going to be fully wet. Take the wet gain all the way down, bring the dry up to 100%, so the dry signal's coming through, and then start mixing in the wet signal, so you have that awfully super compressed sound, but then you mix it in a very small amount, it really thickens the sound up. So there you go, very simple pad to make inspire, and obviously get creative, don't just go, alright, I'm going to use these type of oscillators, you can use whatever you want, and um, you know, you can try different, different types of sounds, whatever you want. You get the point. Experiment. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.